One of the holy grails of 3D screen technology is to allow people to enjoy high quality 3D images in their own home without the need for special glasses. This dream could become a reality thanks to research at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Over the last few years, we've developed a completely new generation of glasses for 3D displays. And what makes them work is really this co-design of optical elements and the computational algorithms that are running them. Gordon and his team at MIT's Media Lab are working on a new approach to glasses free 3D TV that they have dubbed compressive displays. The human visual system uses several different cues to see 3D. One of the most important ones is that we see two different images with our eyes. Another really important one is that the perspective that we see changes as we move our heads or around the object or as we walk around that object. Our displays support all of these cues and what you see is basically this window into a virtual world. So imagine you and your friends are watching a soccer game on TV, you're all sitting around this display and you see the correct perspective of the players, but you also get a 3D vision of them uh, without having to wear specialized glasses. So this is much more natural than what you can achieve in, in a movie theater that, where you have to use the glasses today. The Media Lab researchers are confident that they can take their 3D TVs out of the lab and into the consumer market within five to 10 years. The reason for their optimism is that the screen uses hardware that is already available on the market. What you see behind me here is uh, a prototype built from off-the-shelf uh, components. So we take uh, the same type of LCD monitor that you would have on your desk uh, to use you know, for your daily work, and we strip off some of the, the optical films, stack them up, and we drive them with a, a GPU that you'd have in your, your normal office computer. Uh, but we you know, run it in a way that creates these specialized patterns, so when you, you know, view them over time with the human eye, you get a, a 3D perception. We see uh, these displays having a big role in consumer electronics, things like tablets, phones, and TVs, but we also uh, see some interesting specialized applications like medical imaging, uh, computer graphics, and CAD. Uh, now, most people think about 3D displays in terms of their purpose for, for entertainment, you know, watching movies and, and video on them. But I think that compressive display actually has the potential to unlock uh, 3D display as a user interface tool to enable us to better understand uh, big, complicated data sets and to also uh, better control our electronic devices.